Welcome to another edition of What Does It Cost? This is one that I think a lot of people really wonder about. Um, I'm sitting on a 1977 15 foot Cerro Scotty Sportsman. This one's going to be a little different in a couple of ways. We'll get to that. Hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of any of my videos, if you're enjoying them, uh, I'd like you to, you know, boop, hit the like button, definitely hit the subscribe. Tell one of your friends to, to hit the subscribe. It'll really help our uh, channel grow, and I, I do appreciate it. So what we're going to do today is this frame has been reinforced, welded, and it's got a new axle, and it's got some new leaf springs. So I'm going to let you know what that's going to cost if you have a trailer similar to this one. I do have my handy dandy notes so that I'm going to give you all the prices. I've hit some undercoating on this, but you'll get the idea. If you look right here, you can see that this has been reinforced. Here's a reinforced plate. They did add this piece. And they reinforced right here and back here now this is an area that is always prone to crack if your trailer is going to crack it's going to crack right here i've had two so far that have cracked and had to have them welded so there's plate been put here there's a plate that's been put on here and if you look underneath you can see that there's been a plate welded there that is a lot of reinforcement that is and you can see both sides that is never going to crack there. That is a heck of a good welding job. So you're asking yourself, what's something like that cost? Well, to grind off the front weld, weld the front corners, re-weld the frame, that costs in labor, and of course that bit of material there, $285. $285. Okay, now let's go back here some more welding if we go back here we're gonna see that uh, these are brand new leaf springs brand new axle you can see how beautiful that is you can see it still has a tag on it you can see the welds there and of course they're they under here you can see that they welded in another plate just to make it nice and sturdy so to remove the old axle and weld the new axle in and that uh, little bit of strengthening and support they did in labor, that was $325. $325 to remove the old axle and to weld in the new axle. Now, things cost money, so on this hanger kit, what's a hanger kit you ask? That's this right here. This right here is your hanger kit. That's what's going to hold in your leaf spring. So the hanger kit was just $18, 18 bucks. U-bolt kit, let's go over here for this U-bolt kit. It's very important. These U-bolts are what provide your suspension to hold on to the axle. So we've got our leaf spring, we've got to secure it to our axle, and we use U-bolts. Tighten those down real good. So the U-bolt kit was $19.94. $19.94, just shy of a $20 bill for a U-bolt kit. Not bad. The leaf springs, leaf springs. This is what makes it bounce going down the road. That's your shock absorber. Hanger, U-bolt kit, your leaf springs. Those, it's a four spring kit, so one, two, three, four. The more of those you add, the stiffer the ride is going to be. This is going to be just about right. It's going to be a smooth ride. It's going to handle really well. So leaf springs were $45 each, and we've got one, two of them, so 90 bucks. Leaf springs, 90 bucks for the set. Now let's uh, take a look at this. Let's get a good look at this axle. It's a real nice axle. Real, real nice. Kind of get a little close up in here. Looks like it has trailer brakes as well. 
So if we come off of here, that's a 3,500 pound trailer axle. 3,500 pound trailer axle. And it was $433.51. 3,500 pound axle, which will be way plenty enough for this. It's going to be great. Never wear out. $433.51. Now there's some miscellaneous piece. Like uh, there's just always miscellaneous shop supplies. And I told you about this foot right here. That was added. And there are just some miscellaneous things that were just shy of a $20 bill. $19.38. So as I get to my total, I look right here. $1,280.14. $280.14, and you have brand new suspension, no worries of any crack in the most vulnerable places that it may crack, and uh, this shop that did this work, excellent shop. I don't know who they were. I, I mean, I have it, but uh, I didn't have this work done. The customer did, but uh, uh, just message me if you're in Kansas, the Wichita area, I can, I'd recommend this shop very highly. Great job. There it is. How much does it cost? Suspension edition.